Hello friends. Today we'll discuss on the general design procedure or steps involved in designing a machine component. Uh, basically, there are eight steps in the process of designing a machining component. So let's discuss in details with a practical application. Our first step is the recognition of the need. Now for that, I will show you one picture. Uh, from this picture, we can see that person feels it is too hot. Then what can they do for the problem? So they started uh, thinking for this problem. And ultimately, they got the various solutions. And the first solutions, they are thinking about the AC. Even they are going for the table fan also. And uh, again, you can see in this diagram, they are thinking on the ceiling fan. So that they can overcome their problem. And finally, they are selected a ceiling fan. Now, if you see this statement, make a complete statement of the problem which indicates the need for which the machine is to be designed. Now we know that we decide that the ceiling fan has to manufacture because we have problem solve. But I or we should write a complete statement. What is that complete statement? I'll show you practically. Now design a ceiling fan for a bedroom having a size 10 feet by 12 feet that is equal to 120 square feet. Now it is very clear that ki muze ye fan mere bedroom ke liye design karna hai aur us bedroom ka size hai 120 square feet. Okay. Now picture is very clear. Now after this, what is the next step? Mechanism. Now in the, if you know in the ceiling fan, there are uh, different mechanisms you can use. It depends. Now, this is the, what I'm showing the diagram. Now, this is a table fan actually. And in the table fan, we know there is a oscillation mechanism. So, which gives a uh, desired motion. So, approximately 180 degree, it gives the rotation. Now, we the ceiling fan decide. Kiya hai. So, ultimately we can see here, in the ceiling fan, there is a rotational mechanism. So, which will give the angular motion and that angular motion is around 360 degree rotation. You, you can take the number of examples, even a piston and cylinder. If you take, there is a reciprocating mechanisms. Okay. Now see what the statement you have to write. Select the possible mechanism or group of mechanism, which will give the desired motion. Iska matlab, mechanism ek se jada bhi ho sakte hai. Right. So like that. Our second step is the selection of the mechanism. A third step is the analysis of forces. Uh, why we are doing the analysis of forces? So that we come to know which part is weak, strong, or we need some modification. Uh, when the rotor of the fan rotates, a centrifugal force will act on the blade right now. And in that case, you know, uh, if you see this fan, which is the weakest portion here, this is the neck, right? Here, there is a, due to the centrifugal force, uh, this part will get break. There may be a possibility. So, care Now, suppose I go for the second part. Now, you can see in this diagram. So, this is the rod, hanging rod, I can say. Now, in the hanging rod, there will be a tensile force. So, यहाँ क्या होता है कि पूरा लोड या वेट हमारा इस रॉड पे आ जाता है, because the whole body of that fan uh, will uh, just I can say that it is attached to that, right? So in this case, uh, how much load it will bear, that is very important. But ultimately, whatever the forces are acting, that is very very and very important. So what, what is our statement we can see here? Find the forces acting on each member of the machine. So like that, there are number of elements, there are number of components right now. So according to that, we can find the analysis of the forces. And next fourth is the, so it, this is a very important step in design procedure. 
Now, what happens in this case uh, for selection of a material always depend upon the component shape, right? So even we can say the type of forces, even the durability, its weight, uh, uska strength, climate conditions, and most important is the cost, right? Now I'll show you that if you see here, uh, one I show the blade there, which is made up of timber blade. Now this is the most common blade material. Uh, the reason is very simple due to its uh, rigidity, long lifespan is there and also produce a minimum noise. But if you see other part is the, but it is very costly, right? Now suppose I take another example, right? Metal blades. Now uh, this is the most durable, right? Even the, if you see the cost of that is very less as compared to the timber blades. Right now, now the but other part you can see, right? Other part is that, but it is heavy in weight. Ab agar wo heavy hai, to kya hoga? We need a stronger motor, uh, because to push that uh, blade, we always need a uh, stronger motor for that. Even the weight will be more, and it is very difficult to clean. Right? Suppose I take an other example, right? Other material. Now, in this case, I I take in the plastic. Okay, so whatever the blades I'm manufacturing, uh, now I selected the uh, plastic material. Now there are always there are number of advantage of the plastic blade. Right? If you see that in the screen, the molded into any shape. You can see the design of this or shape of this right now. So any shape, any complicated shape can be easily molded, right? Or lightweight bhi hota hai. Clean karne ke liye bhi kafi asan hai. And most important thing is that less motor capacity bhi aap use kar sakte hai. Kyunki aap metal blade lenge to kafi heavy ho jata hai. Aur isme pura body agar humara plastic ka hai to wet will be less and according to that the motor capacity bhi come up use kar sakte hai. So this is a, a material selection which is very important. Now then the fifth is the design of element. Design of element means we are actually finding out the sizes and the stress analysis calculation. Uh, now, uh, what happens? Now the design engineer is aware. Now, if you see diagram, there are a number of uh, components you can see or uh, elements you can see, even from the hook or this uh, rod or a pipe or a hanging pin, right now, motor, blades, many, many parts are. But every part of the size is very important. Now the design engineer is aware about the, all the four steps. Just like the recognition of need, mechanism use, right? Even the forces uh, acting on each element. Uh, even he has already done the material selection. But design engineer must know which type of stresses are produced on the, in our case, I am taking the suppose example of pin. Right now, this is pin. Right now, after knowing the application of the pin, uh, pin he or she will observe that uh, chances of failure of the this pin will be in the shearing or it may get the bending also. So failure, हमारे दो type में हो सकता है इधर. एक तो shearing में भी हो सकता है या तो bending में भी हो सकता है. Right now, अगर हम shearing की बात करें, तो I have shown that. I'll, I'll show you if the load is acting right now. Abhi habi dekhte ya hang kiya jata hai upar ceiling ke upar and this is a huge weight of that complete body and motor. So we have done the load again. So pin amari yaha se break ho sakti hai aur yaha se break ho sakti hai. Means sharing ho sakti hai. So I shown this diagram, right? Do jage pe se sharing. Agar pin ka abhi I have to find the diameter of that pin. How it is possible? Now we know that Shear stress is equal to load upon area, which we already studied. Now, in this case, if I take the area of this pin, we know that if any circular part is that, the area is pi by 4 d square. Now, for example, if we have load, now I have load how much load is 15 kN. And I have the permissible shear stress or maximum, maximum permissible stress stress, वो मैंने 35 न्यूटन पर स्क्वायर मिलीमीटर लिया है। इट डिपेंड्स अपऑन द मटेरियल विच यू आर सिलेक्टेड अल्टीमेटली। राइट नो, नो अगर मैं इस फॉर्मूले में अगर डालो, यू कैन सी 15 इनटू 
टेन रेस टू द पावर थ्री मीन ये किलो न्यूटन जो था ओके उसको मैंने न्यूटन लिखा है ना पाई बाय फोर डी स्केयर इन टू टू दिस टू मीन इधर देर इज अ डबल शेयर राइट दो जगह पे से टूटने के सबसे ज्यादा चांसेस है सो अल्टीमेटली आई विल गेट द डायमीटर ऑफ दैट पिन दैट इज अक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव टू एम एम अभी क्या होता क्या है नो द वी आर फाइंडिंग द डायमेंशन ऑफ दैट एवरी कॉम्पोनेंट मीन्स डिजाइन मीन्स टू फाइंड द ऑप्टिम साइज ऑफ द कॉम्पोनेंट राइट नो नो इट शुड नॉट बी मोर देन सिक्सटीन पॉइंट फाइव और लेस देन सिक्सटीन फाइव If it is more than sixteen point five, then the more material is required, more weight will be there, and there will be a less efficiency. But if you take less than sixteen point five, then there will be a chances of failure. This means that we have done design calculations. In that case, it will be a, uh, a proper design. I can say a proper sizes what you are selecting. Now. After this, ऐसे आप हर एलिमेंट्स का आप साइजेस निकाल सकते हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्ट्रेसेस नो वट इज वट वी आर राइटिंग फाइंड द साइज ऑफ ईच मेंबर बाय कंसिडरिंग द फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन द मेंबर एंड परमिसिबल शेयर स्ट्रेस परमिसिबल स्ट्रेसेस फॉर द मटेरियल यूज तो परमिसिबल स्ट्रेसेस डिपेंड करते हैं कि आप कौन सा मटेरियल यूज कर रहे हैं अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट दिस वैल्यू विल गेट चेंज राइट नाउ so in this way we are finding the design of elements now after this what is the next step it is a modification step now in this case in modification step there are different i will show that different softwares are available okay for example i have shown here this is the nc software and in nc software there is a finite element analysis right so in there we have to draw this drawing in the ansys and after drawing this diagram in the ansys you have to apply the forces virtually yeah? hum actually kuch nahi kar rahe sab virtually hum kar rahe and then we get a actual loading and actual stresses condition in the pin and if they doing the or if they exceeds then again we have to redesign it iska matlab humko मॉडिफिकेशन करना पड़ेगा बट स्टूडेंट आई टेल यू इट इज नॉट अ कंपल्शन स्टेप समटाइम्स वी आर मॉडिफाइंग एज पर योर पास्ट एक्सपीरियंस एंड जजमेंट सो दैट वी कैन रिड्यूस द ओवरऑल कॉस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट सो दैट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द मॉडिफिकेशन एंड नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज अवर डिटेल ड्रॉइंग नाउ Uh, when i'm talking about a detailed drawing suppose this is a drawing now what i shown in this drawing i shown the front view of that pin even top view also as well as the left hand side view aur yahan agar aap dekhenge all details we are writing title of the drawing is the ceiling fan pin right now you want the tolerances kyunki kitne tolerances ke andar humko ye banana chahiye dimensions all dimensions are in mm then drawn by for example suppose i am drawing means i will write my name professor sudhir thakre right then the next one date drawn today is suppose 16th august so i will write that and the name of the company brick company limited so like that student this is called as a detail drawing now what happens so that the prod, uh, i can see the production engineer can easily understand the drawing that is the main motto behind that so what are we are writing draw the detailed drawing of each component and assembly of a machine with a complete specification for the manufacturing process okay so i think you are getting the what is the meaning of the detailed drawing and then step 8 is the production right which is will be a last step now this drawing will be sent to the manufacturing department then what happen the production engineer right this production engineer will observe this drawing and according to the drawing right he will decide which type of uh, i can say um, whether to you can go for the cast whether you can uh, he can go for the fabricated or uh, go for the forging राइट right? अगर हमने पिन का एग्जांपल लिया तो आप ये तीनों में से कोई भी एक से बना सकते हैं बट ही विल थिंक ऑन दैट 
okay and according to that uh, i can say that he will go, go for the proper setup of the machine and start producing the component and finally we got the pin in this case kyunki humne pin ka example lene ki koshish kiya fan ka student i hope that uh, you can understand uh, what is the meaning of the general design procedure right so thank you very much